state have attacked Rini Tan in the Bakura local government area of Zamfara State. Eyewitnesses told Channel's television on Friday that the armed men stormed the town at about 3.30 a.m. and started shooting sporadically. While residents were said to have refused to come out of their homes despite heavy gunshots renting the hair, the bandits adopted many locals numbering over 60. The police authorities in Zamfara State confirmed the incident, although they did not give the actual number of residents kidnapped by the bandits. But the command spokesman, Mohammed Sheu, said the police had deployed several tactical operatives in the town with a view to rescuing the adopted persons. He saw said several appeals had been made to the government to provide more security reinforcement for the people of Rini. The attack on Rini comes barely a week after bandits invaded the College of Agriculture and Animal Science, also in Ba Kura local government. During the attack, which occurred at about 11 p.m. on Sunday, the government killed a policeman and two watchmen before they gained entry into the school. State authorities later confirmed the abduction of 15 students and four staff of the institution who were forcefully taken away by the assassins. The incident was condemned by the state governor, Bello Matawale, who assured the families of the victims that they will return safely. The bandits were said to have contacted the school management to make a demand of 350 million naira as ransom for the victims to be released. The criminals later released a video in which the students were seen begging the government to heed the demand of their uh, adopters who threatened to kill them if the money was not paid. <laughs> oh my God, what is Nigerian actually turning into? What is all this for goodness sake? This thing has gotten out of hand, honestly. State of emergency should be declared in this state where Fulani henchmen, bandits, and kidnappers are constantly attacking innocent Nigerians. I believe federal government is not aware of all these ones because <laughs> they cannot even comment about it. For how long are we going to go about all this kidnapping innocent Nigerians? Nigerians are dying every day by day, you know, with dying for something they know nothing about. The question is, what is the government doing? Look at Matawale. Look at what is happening to you now. Hey, you run come up for PDP, go enter APC. Say make waiting that happen now. Even since when you come out, say this this while I can't even they watch. The dogs you romanced yesterday, you fed yesterday, the same dog are the ones biting you. You guys started with compensating them. You had all the time on this health to tackle this banditry when it started. Mm -mm. No. If people talk, it's like Saturnus. You people are talking because this and this and that. Now nah, it happen. Why they pay me be say now? Nah, see the same poor men, poor men children, they still they go to school, they adopt. Poor men, when see they 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 try to strive like them, according to them, say they are striving to make sure that they get good life. This the same people, the same. People when still they suffer like una. now now they go they kidnap, they kill and all that. It's really very, very painful the situation we've just found ourselves in this country. We don't even know the Messiah that is going to save us from this. Someone is saying here, yeah, if not turn to Afghanistan, none of our business. Please, South, let us mind our business. What is the Taliban of Nigeria? 
All right, sorry, let me take it again. He said, where is the Taliban of Nigeria? I mean the northern Afghanistan in Nigeria to come and comment. Inasmuch as I am not rejoicing over this news, but who am I to feel sorry and sad for them? When northerners themselves does not complain anyway, they are just doing their normal businesses. Erufai's voice. Someone said, why Buari and her son were busy wasting taxpayers' money on a nonsensical wedding in Kano, enjoying themselves with their families? The online Buari... Bo okay, I don't want to say that. All right, I thought they would be invited to the wedding. I thought the bandits should be invited to the wedding. But instead, they were still killing innocent and kidnapping innocent people. This is really very, very unfair. Why Buhari and his coolest gang are busy having fun in Kano? This is Nigeria for you. Buhari and the National Security Advisor are in Kano for Buhari's son's wedding. Meanwhile, all the, their governor and their senators are in Buhari's wedding. I love what is happening in the north. Someone just dropped that. Who are those surrounding and who are those attacking? Niger case, don't tire me, I beg. <laughs> that is what the uh, Minister of Information said. Uh, what is his name again? Alaji La Mohammed. He said Nigerian government, Buhari is winning the fight against banditry. Yeah, that is what he said. That Boko Haram are now surrounding so the question now is who are these people attacking innocent people this is really very very bad someone said it is all scam planned kidnapping none of them have been coming out to complain the northerners know what is happening anyway guys i'm gonna drop it here can they hit the comment section and don't forget to give us a thumbs up thank you very much for always stopping by i really do appreciate bye for now Thank you.